Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss the packet tracer activity, web and email. So friends, before coming to this activity, uh, if you are watching our channel first time or if not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification message whenever we upload a new video. Right, coming back to our uh, activity, here we can see the objectives. In part 1, we will configure and verify web services. Uh, then in part 2, we will configure and verify email services. Coming to part 1, configure and verify web services. Step 1, configure web services on central server and branch server. Coming to our packet tracer, we will uh, check these servers. Here we can see our central server. And here in branch, here we can see our branch server. Here click central server and click the services tab, then HTTP. Here is our central server. Coming to services. And here we can see HTTP. Click on to enable HTTP and HTTP secure, that is HTTPS. So we will put it on. Next is uh, optional, that is personalize the HTML code if required. Okay, here we can see that edit option. So we will go to edit and if needed, we can uh, personalize this HTML code. Suppose here for this instead of this uh, central server, we will give. Welcome to Tech Acad and we will save it. Yes. Next is a repeat step 1A till 1C on branch server also. Okay, we will go to our branch server. Here is that branch server. We will go to services. HTTP and we'll put on this HTTP and HTTPS services and if required we can edit this uh, HTML code so here we will give instead of branch server we can give okay something we'll give branch server from tech acad okay we'll save it yes Now we will come to step 2, verify the web servers by accessing the web pages. There are many endpoint devices in this network, but for the purposes of this uh, step, use PC3. Okay, we will uh, search for this uh, PC3. Coming to the central, here we can see the entity devices, PC1, PC2, PC3. Yes, here we can see the device, PC3. Now click PC3 and click the desktop tab, then web browser. In the URL box, enter, uh, we have to give this IP address uh, as the IP address and click go. The central server website displays. Okay, we will verify that uh, from this uh, PC3. We will go to desktop tab. We will go to web browser. And here we will give that IP address. And here we can see welcome to TechCAD. Next is in the URL box, enter 64.100.200.1 as the IP address and click go. The branch server website displays. So we will copy this IP address and we will paste here. In this URL, go. And here we can see branch server from TechAcad. Next is in the URL box, again we have to enter this URL. Central server.pt.pka and click go the central server website displays so we'll verify that here we can see website welcome to tech Acad. next is in the url box enter this url it's a branch server.pt.pka 
and click go the branch server website displays we can verify it go branch server from take a card it's working next is what protocol is translating the central server dot pt dot pka uh, or this uh, branch server dot pt dot pka names to ip addresses it's obviously the dns so uh, if you uh, come to this ip configuration here we can see the details ip address submit to mask and default gateway and here we can see a dns server ip address so this server are sold these names right now we will go to part two configure and verify email services on servers step one configure central server to send smtp and receive that is pop3 email right so click central server and then select the services tab followed by uh, the email button okay coming to our central server it's here we'll go to services and here we can see the email services we'll click on it next is uh, click on to enable the smtp and pop3 so coming to this uh, email services here we can see smtp service we will put it on and coming to pop3 service we will put it on next is set the domain name to central server dot pt dot pka and click set okay we will uh, copy this uh, domain name and here uh, in this uh, domain name we are going to set that central server dot pt dot pka and we are going to set it next is create a user named central hyphen user with password cisco then click plus to add the user okay so here we can see uh, user setup username we will give as a central hyphen user password as a cisco and here we are going to add this uh, uh, user by clicking this uh, plus button and here we can see that next is uh, step 2 configure branch server to send uh, smtp uh, and receive that is pop3 uh, email click branch server and click the service tab then go to email then we have to enable smtp and pop3 okay that can be done we will go to our uh, branch server coming to the services so here we can see email here we can see the email services smtp service we will put it on and pop3 service we will put it on now set the domain name to branch server dot pt dot pka and click set so we will uh, copy this uh, domain name and uh, here we will uh, set that uh, domain name set now we have to create a user named branch hyphen user uh, with password cisco then click plus to add the user okay so coming to our uh, user setup here is the username branch hyphen user and password is a cisco and we will add this uh, user details now we will come to step 3 configure pc3 to use the central server email service click pc3 and click the desktop tab then go to email okay we will close this branch server and coming to our pc3 uh, in the central we can see this device pc3 we will go to desktop tab we are in desktop tab then we will go to email here we can see email now enter the following values into their respective fields your name we, we have to give us a central user so here we can see your name okay then email address we will copy this address email address here we can see that incoming mail server 10.10.10.2 server information incoming mail server then outgoing mail server it's same username this is what we created in our server central hyphen user logon information 
user name is central hyphen user password is cisco then click save the mail browser window displays okay so we will just save it yes so here we can see uh, the uh, mail browser window next is a click receive if everything has been uh, set up correctly on both the client and server the mail browser window displays the receive mail success message confirmation okay we will uh, click on this uh, receive where is our uh, message confirmation we will scroll down and here we can see the message receive mail success now uh, we will come to uh, step 4 configure sales to use the email service of branch server uh, click sales and click the desktop tab then go to email right we will uh, search for this uh, uh, ng device uh, sales will come to our branch and here we can see sales we will click on it we will go to desktop tab and here we can see our email now enter the following values into the respective fields your name we have to give as a branch user it's here then email address okay it's here Incoming mail server 172.16.0.3 Incoming mail server Same outgoing mail server Then here is our username Password is Cisco Click save The mail browser window displays We will save it Now click receive if everything has been set up correctly on both the client and server, the mail browser window displays the receive mail success message confirmation like previously what we have seen. Okay, we will click on this receive button. We will scroll down and here we can see receive mail success. Okay, the activity should be 100% complete. Yes, here we can verify that completion status. It's a hundred out of a hundred. Do not close the sales configuration window or the mail browser window. Yes, it's here. Now we will go to step five. Send an email from the sales client and the PC3 client. From the sales mail browser window, click compose. Then enter the following values into the respective fields. So here we can see compose button we will click on it now we will give this uh, following values to we'll copy and we'll paste it here next is subject personalize the subject line okay here we can uh, give check a card and next we have to give email body personalize the email okay here is the body we will give greetings from check a card then click send okay we will click on send now verify that a pc3 received the email click pc3 if the mail browser window is closed click email okay so we already closed it so we will go to that pc3 it's here we will go to desktop and here is our email then we have to click receive an email from sales displays double click the email okay so we'll scroll up and here we can see receive here we received a mail we can see it's from branch hyphen user and here we can see the subject we will double click on it so here we can see the content greetings from techacad next click reply personalize a response and click send then verify that sales received the reply so we will click on this reply 
and here we can see uh, we can uh, give our body we will give some message here okay anything thanks uh, take a card for your response something okay and we will send it now we will go to uh, sales and we will verify it sales and we will click on this receive and here we can see the message reply message from central hyphen user we will double click on it and here we can see the message what we sent from there okay right friends in this video we have seen the packet tracer activity web and email just stay tuned for the future videos and we will meet again with the next video thank you